Welcome to our channel once again my friends. Realize Guyana, home of all the traditional Guyanese recipes. Today we're going to be doing another such recipe and this recipe is for sweet zarda. Now sweet zarda is popular on Eid. Eid is coming up upon us. we in the month of Ramadan already and Eid is coming up this weekend. So this would be a perfect recipe. Uh, sweet zarda is also served on um, uh, at Muslim weddings, usually it's served in the night before the wedding and also at uh, uh, Muslim religious functions. Some people also know this dish, uh, this sweet zarda dish as palau. Not pilau, but palau. I've heard some people say they know this as. So maybe you know it as, as palau as well. But it's, uh, uh, the correct name is sweet zarda. There is a salt, salt one too, but we, the sweet one is popular with this uh, function. So for this recipe guys, we're going to be using some rice, uh, sugar, raisins, essence, um, we have some ghee, cinnamon stick, we're going to be using some cloves, uh, cardamom, cinnamon powder, some chopped peanuts, and some f yellow food color. And that's about it for the, for the ingredients guys. So I just want to mention, some people are still telling me they're not seeing the ingredients and measurements those are listed below the video always and you you have to click on show more or whether there's a drop down arrow there or whatever it is but you have to click on something in order to see what's below the video it just doesn't appear by default so the ingredients are, and uh, measurements are always there you just have to go uh, show it all right so having said that let's get started with this recipe guys so the first thing we did is we put some water to boil to boil our rice and we're gonna go wash our rice now. So uh, the, the amount of water is not important for your rice guys, but this rice doesn't have to be boiled soft, it has to be a little bit tart. It's, it's a loosey rice, uh, sweet zarda is, is a, a loosey rice. So you're just going to hard boil the rice, not soft boil it. So we're going to add the cinnamon stick to, to our rice boiling guys, this is going to flavor your rice. I know that the water is going to be thrown out after the rice is cooked, but while this is boiling, this cinnamon stick is still going to flavor your rice. So our rice has uh, gotten soft enough, or hard enough, as you want it. So there you go, you that hardness. So we're going to strain this now. So we strain our rice my friends and as you can see our rice is loosey and this is how you want it. So now we are heating up our pan to move on with our recipe. So we can add our ghee, our pan is hot now my friends, so we can add our ghee first. Are you going to let that melt? So have you ever had this sweet zarda my friends? If so let us know and if you like it or not. So to this melted ghee now we can add our cloves. And when last you had the privilege of attending a wedding? I know sometimes you don't need an invitation to go to a wedding, right? Or most of the times you don't. You just go and crush the wedding house. So we're gonna let this start to sizzle a little bit, let the cloves release its aroma in the in the ghee. 
if it, there's another way you can do this too you can you can boil the rice with the cloves as well and the cinnamon like we did but you can also do the cloves here as well which we're doing so you just wanted to get hot enough to relieve some of its aromas there so we're gonna now add our sugar And if you have never had this sweet sardine, my friends, you should try it. It's yummy. So we had our heat on medium all the time my friends, so now we have lowered, lowered our heat to low now. And we've added our color, our coloring. That's our cinnamon powder. So now we're going to add our cardamom. And there's our raisins. And our chopped nuts. So the last thing for us to add here, my friends, is the essence. Give that a good mix again. So you can see how loosey the rice is, that's how it's supposed to be. So you can boil the rice softer than this. So that's it for this recipe guys, our sweet sarda, or palau, as it's also called. And I said this is a um, Eid special, you know this is a popular at Eid and at uh, Muslim weddings, the night before the wedding this is usually served, and also other Muslim functions. So that's it for this recipe my friends, our sweet zarda, looking delicious. If you like this video my friends, please remember to give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Please click the bell icon so you get notifications whenever we post new videos. Please share this video also. And as always, thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.